Now, what I'm about to show you is going to be a complete game changer because you're going to be able to make UGC AI videos for completely free, just like this Are one. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, and that awkward Donald Duck butt? It's time for a change. Let me introduce you to the Posture Pro, a simple yet effective solution designed to help you reclaim your posture and boost your confidence. Imagine being able to sit through meetings or enjoy your favorite activities without that constant nagging pain. With Posture Pro, you can transform your posture, enhance your overall well-being, and even boost your confidence. As you wear Posture Pro, you'll notice improvements not just in how you stand, but in how you sleep, how you feel, and how you carry yourself throughout the day. So if you're ready to take control of your posture and say goodbye to discomfort, give Posture Pro a try. Now, as you know, UGC can be extremely expensive, and right now, you're gonna be able to do it for completely free. Now, what makes this video so powerful and effective is I'm gonna be showing you all the methods you need to use to get the outcome of what I've just shown you. So you're gonna need a certain script, you're gonna need certain AI models, and you're gonna need certain video editors. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use all of these today for completely free. So as soon as we've hit 2,000 likes in this video, I'll leave a link to all the AI models that I used, all the scripts that I've used, so you can recreate the video that you just saw for your own e-com or dropshipping product. So guys, the first thing that I wanna do and show you is the product that I'm gonna be using throughout this example video. So I'm gonna be using the Back Posture Corrector as the product that I'm gonna create free UGC ad videos for the product. Now, of course, if you're gonna be watching this video, you need to know what you're selling first before you can actually make the videos. Now, once you know what you're selling and what your product is, you need to go to the Facebook ad library and filter it by United States, all ads, and then you need to type in a few different keywords that are gonna bring up results for your product. Now, for example, I've typed in posture corrector. Now, you're going to want to use different words to get ads for your product on Facebook. So I could use back pain relief. I could use loads of different keywords to find other keywords related to this one that are going to find me ads for my product. Now, once you've done that, you want to filter it by active ads. You're only interested in ads that are running at this current time. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we wanna find out what the winning hook is for our product so that when we create an AI script that somebody's gonna say, we have to make sure we're using something that's gonna grab somebody's attention. Now, how we're gonna do that is by looking at what ads are performing the best right now for our product. Now, once all of these ads are coming up, you wanna see if there's a lot of the same pages posting a lot of ads. So you can see here, this one's called Bubba Wear, and you can see lots of ads are coming up for this brand. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna see which video from this page is frequently being used. Are they using the same ad video a lot? Now, all I have to do to figure that out is by hovering over their name, click view ads, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna show me all the ads that are running active now for that page. They're only running six ads and all the ads they're running, all of them are different. Now I found another page called Posture Flow and you can see that they're running four videos but there's two of the same video which tells me that that's their winning video. Now I'm gonna do this for a few more pages till I find a page with a lot of videos and a lot of consistent videos. So I've just found a page here with seven ads and out of the seven, six of them are the same video. So that implies to me that that's gonna be their winning video. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna play the video and see what the first five seconds are so I know if it's the winning hook. Forward head, rounded shoulders, and a Donald Duck butt. Look familiar? So just like that, forward head, rounded shoulders, does that sound like you? That is a winning hook. She's called the user out in a very funny way. So that's definitely what I would consider a winning hook. Remember, your hook doesn't wanna be aggressive. It doesn't wanna be salesy. It wants to call somebody out, which is your user, your buyer, in a funny way or in a very neutral way. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to listen to the video again and just write down what the hook was. Now, if you don't wanna write it down, what you can do is you can actually download the video and then try transcribe it. Now I'll leave a Chrome extension that you can use to download the video and transcribe it in the cheat sheet. Or you can literally just listen to the video and write it down. Now what you guys want to do is you want to come up with three to five different winning hooks. Now this would be considered one so I need to now go and find another three. Now I want to quickly show you guys another way that you can find winning hooks for your product and that's by using an ad spy tool. Now I'm using Pixar to do this and the reason why an ad spy tool is going to be better is because if they have a filter where you can filter it by ad score what you can do is you can search for again a phrase that will bring up your product and then you can filter it by ad score and ad score basically means which ads are performing the best and then that way when you scroll through it you know that these are the winning ads because they're done by ad score or done by performance so you can see here these videos here are the winning videos 
Stop going to the chiropractor and try this three in one back massager for 15 minutes. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you the ad spy method to finding your winning hooks is because it's going to be quicker and more efficient. But again, obviously, it's a paid tool, very affordable though. So I definitely recommend this if you want to find the winning hooks quicker and more effective. So, guys, once you've got your winning hooks, now you want to get access to this cheat sheet. Remember, once we hit 2,000 likes, I will put it in the description. Now, if this video does really well within the first day of comments and likes, I'll just put it in the description on the first day. But anyway, you want to get Get access to this sheet because what you want to do is you need the Poe prompt. Now, Poe is the GBT or AI script writer that we're going to be using. So as you guys can see on this cheat sheet, you're going to see where it says winning hook. That is where you're going to be putting the winning hook that we heard on the video. Now, where it says product name, you're going to put the name of your product. If you haven't come up with one, then you can look at your competitors and figure out what you want to call it based on their names. Again, do not copy, come up with a unique name, but you can use your competitors to help you find out a name for your product. And the same for what the product solves. Your competitors should be able to give you all of this. Now, to obviously get your competitor, if you go back to the ad library, all of those ads that you were looking at, you can click the shop now button and you can view their website and then you can use the info on on here to add to your cheat sheet. You can literally see here, it says how it solves your posture problems. So you can copy this text and put it on the cheat sheet. Then you're gonna get something called a call to action. Now you need to manually write this and this is down to what you wanna do. So you could literally do something like this, join the club of fixing your posture with a 40% coupon shop now. You just wanna come up with a call to action that isn't a normal call to action like shop now 40% off. You wanna make it a little bit more enticing like join the club, join the same people that are trying to fix their posture. You don't wanna do the old boring 50% off shop now. You wanna make it a little bit more normal than that. So guys, before we move on to the next part of today's video, I wanted to cover something that everyone asks me. What is the best way for payment gateways, banking? If I live in a third world country, how do I access Stripe, PayPal, or any good banks? And how do you maximize the facilities of the e-commerce world? Now, the only way to address this is by getting a USA LLC. This will enable you to be able to get payment gateways in any company. It will also give you the best banking opportunities for the e-commerce world. Now, the reason why most people don't get a USA LLC is because they don't know how to. Now, this is where I'm going to be introducing Doula. Doula will actually do that for you. It's a company that will create you a USA LLC in whichever state that you want. There's obviously benefits with Wyoming and Delaware as they are tax-free states. Now, when you choose one of the packages that Doula offer, you'll actually get a dashboard and interface that will track the whole journey of you creating your LLC and then getting it open. And Doula will make sure they do all the hard work for you and even open up your bank accounts. Now, they don't just do that. They'll also do your bookkeeping and your filing so you don't get any penalties from the IRS. Now, that was one of the biggest issues for me when I first started an LLC in the US. I didn't know what I was doing and I got hit with some penalties. Now, Doula will make sure that doesn't happen for you. Now, if you're still not sure if Doula is the right choice for you, you can actually book a free consultation call to see if it is the right choice for you. They've worked with other e-commerce and dropshippers before, so they know what you need and how they can help you. Now, you have to understand that Doula is very competitive with their pricing plans, and on some of their packages, they're 30% cheaper than the alternatives out there, and they even offer a better service. I'm telling you that now from my own experience from using other companies to create me a US LLC. I've never seen anything as good as Doula. So if you want to open up your USA LLC and get access to all the payment gateways, banking, and other financial products, then make sure you check out the link in the description. You can even book a free consultation call if you need to ask them a few more questions before making the decision. And remember, if you choose Wyoming or Delaware, they are tax-free states. Now, with that being said, guys, let's get straight back into the video. So once you guys have filled out this cheat sheet by using the information that I've told you to use based on your competitors, you now need to come to the top and you're going to see a link from scriptify po Now, you can either click the link or go to foe.com and then you need to search for catchy hook as an app. And then once you've got this one, you're going to see it's going to say, hello there, I am scriptify. How can I assist you? And then you're going to go back to the cheat sheet and you're going to see Poe prompt and you're going to copy 
copy this and you're just simply going to text it back. Now, after you've done that, it's going to ask you to then send them the information that you've created. So you're just going to copy the winning hook, the product name, the product solves, the call to action, and then you're simply going to go back and paste it again. And just like that, it has sent you your AI script. Now we need to make some adjustments to this. The first thing that I'm going to ask it to do is just send me the voiceover, not also the transitions and all that other stuff. I'm just after the voiceover. You can see here, it's now sent me the voiceover, but the problem is it's a little bit too short for me. So now I'm going to say, make it longer. So I've just said, make it longer and less salesy. Perfect. Just like that, guys, we've now got the right script that I was after. You can see here, this here is perfect. This is probably going to be around about 45 seconds. It's longer and less salesy. This is exactly what we were after. So now we can copy this text, go back to the cheat sheet and just paste it somewhere at the bottom. So then that way we don't have to go back to foe. We can just get it from the cheat sheet. And also what you want to do is look at the last part of the script and make sure you add your call to action. I've just added it here. You can see now it says join the club of members. So now we have our AI script. So we're going to copy that again. And then the next thing that you need to do is you need to open up the TikTok ads video editor software. And how you do that is you need to get access to the TikTok ads manager by having a TikTok business manager, which is completely free to set up. You just need to fill out your company details and then you're going to get access to this. If you don't already have a business manager or a TikTok ads account, then make sure you create one using my link because you can get up to $500 to $1,000 in ad credits for completely free. If you've already got one, then all you need to do is come to the TikTok ads manager and you're going to see in the top left tools and then you're going to go to where it says video editor. Once once you've done that, you're going to click it and then your screen should now look like mine. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see assets, captions, avatar, script. And what you want to do is you want to click avatars. Now, what these avatars are is they are our free AI avatars that are going to read our script for us. Now, you can filter this by clicking the filter button. Now, I only want men, so I'm going to filter this by male. If you want, you can filter it by other things. And then I'm going to click confirm. Now, what I want to do is I want to come up with three different AI actors to read my script. So if I go back to my script, I'm going to get one actor to read this, and then I'm going to get another actor to read this, and then I'm going to get another actor to read the last part. So you don't want the same actor to read the whole thing. If you split it up in three, it's going to look more professional and make your brand stand out. So I'm going to copy the first bit here, go back to the TikTok ad editor, scroll down till I find somebody that I think's good to intro the start of our product. Now, I think this guy here looks like somebody that looks like he could talk about good posture. So I'm going to use this video. And now once you've used the video, it's going to look like this. You want to click it. And then on the right, you're going to see mask. You want to change it to the first one and then it's going to fill out the whole screen. And then what you want to do is you want to go to where it says script, and then you're going to want to paste your script there. Now, once you've done that, you're going to see down below, it says voiceover, make sure that's turned on. And then you're going to see default voice. You want to make sure you have default voice turned on. And then you're going to want to go to where it says generate voice and captions. Now, this process can take around about two minutes. So just be patient whilst you're waiting for it. Now, whilst you're waiting for it, you could technically go back to your script and then copy the next section, which is going to be the next two lines, copy it, and then you can ready for the next next avatar that you're going to actually edit. And just like that, guys, it is now done so we can listen to it together. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, and that awkward Donald Duck butt? It's time for a change. Let me introduce you. Now that looks really good guys. Now do bear in mind that when you're using it in the editor, you can see here in order for us to quickly generate and show preview, the video quality has been lowered, lip syncing as well. So when you view it like this guys, it's not gonna be the final resolution and the lip syncing is gonna be way, way better when you export it. Now what we do wanna do is you wanna click on the captions here and you wanna turn captions off. Now the reason why we're gonna turn captions off is because when we edit the video in CapCut, we're gonna get way nicer looking captions in there. So we don't need the captions here. Now, once you've done that, guys, you want to come to the top right where it says export video. And then you're going to see here, it says your video is being exported. So now guys, you're going to see it says your video has now been exported. Go to the asset library to view your completed video. So you want to make sure you go there. And now in the asset library, we can click on our video and look at it in full resolution. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, and that awkward Donald Duck? That looks really, really good, guys. So we can now go back to the editor again, go to avatars, choose a different avatar and do the exact same process this time. Then we're gonna take the next two paragraphs 
and put that in the next avatar. Now, just to save time, guys, I'm gonna do this quickly. Click on it again, click on mask, change it to there, and then you're gonna go to where it says script, paste in those next two paragraphs. Always remember to get rid of the emojis if there are emojis, and then you can click generate voice and captions. And then you need to do it one more time, guys, but this time with a different actor, and you're gonna do the last bit. Then once you've done that, guys, you need to make sure you go into your asset library. You can see the three videos that I've generated today then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is download those videos. Now to download those videos, what I personally do is I click on it and then when it shows me this preview, I right click and click save video and then you can save the video as a file. So I'm gonna call it UGC part one and then the video is now saving for you. Now guys, once we've downloaded those three videos for our script, we're now gonna to wanna to come to CapCut. You're gonna to wanna to click create new and then you're gonna to wanna to do 19 by 16. And then once you're inside of the editor, you're gonna to wanna to go to upload, upload file and upload the those videos. Then once your videos have been uploaded to your library, you're gonna wanna drag them into the timeline. So that's my first video. Then my second video is gonna be added. So if you're ready to so you should now have three clips, your first video, your second video, and your third video. Now, once your three videos have been added to the timeline, you then wanna to go to where it says captions on the left and click auto captions and then click generate. Then once your captions have been auto generated, you wanna come here to where it says presets in the top right, and then you're gonna to wanna to choose one of the presets you like, or you can go from style to templates. Now, some of these are pro, but I like some of these ones. My favorite one is this one here, the brown fox one. Now, this is the style that I like the most, this white and then yellow, but this is a pro cap cut feature. If you want, you can go back to stars and use any of these that are free to use. Now, the most popular ones that are free are either the first two and then this yellow one here. But personally, I pay the extra with CapCut Pro and get a little bit more of a better looking actual caption. Now, once you've done that, guys, just quickly look at your first 10 seconds of your video just to make sure the captions have been done correctly. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, and that awkward Donald Duck butt, it's time for a change. Let me introduce you to the Posture Pro, a simple- Okay, just like that, guys, I'm happy with the way the captions are. Now, you're gonna see in the bottom left, it's gonna say AI generated. Now, by law, you do need to disclaim when your video's been done with AI. But what we're gonna do is when we disclaim that the video's been done with AI, we're actually gonna do it in the TikTok Ads Manager. There is a select button, and in the Facebook Manager, there is a button where you can say done with AI. Here, we can get rid of it if you want to by clicking on the clip and zooming it in. So you can see here, we can zoom it in, and then we can move the video now more central and just like that guys you've got rid of that and in general guys you don't want your UGC creator to be that far out in the video you want them a little bit more zoomed in because it's going to get more engagement so now guys what we can do is we can go to the next clip and do the same thing click on it and zoom it in and you're going to want to do the next thing to the last clip click on it and zoom it in just make sure guys, when you're zooming these clips in, your avatar is in the center line. If they're off to one side or the other, it can come off and not be engaging for the viewer. So just make sure it's in that central line and the TikTok do give you that central line to make sure you're there. Now, once you've done that, you wanna get some B-roll to put over the timeline. So when the AR avatar is talking about your product, you need some B-roll of it in use. Now, the best way to get B-roll is to head over to the TikTok platform and type in the name of your product Again, I've typed in posture corrector and then you're gonna wanna make sure you download some videos that show your same product. You don't wanna download a different version of your product or a product that isn't yours because it's gonna look stupid in the video. So make sure you're downloading the same posture corrector. Now my posture corrector is the one with these little white lines in it. So this video I could download, this video I can download, this video I can download. Now I wanna get some different content. I want some of it on the floor being used how to use it. I want some of it in action. And then I also want some video showing somebody going from bad posture to good posture. So this type of video here is showing a man that is either a chiropractor or a doctor showing somebody with bad posture is something I want. Again, another video here is showing what bad posture is and then also showing what good posture is. These are the types of videos that I'm going to want. Now to download these videos, you can either click on the video and then click download video or you can then copy the link of the video in the URL, come to TikTok Snap, and then paste the URL here and download the video. Again, just to make this very, very clear, guys, we need some stuff where it shows people with bad posture and then good posture. 
This is super, super important. Now, another really good place to get some B-roll is called Pixels. Now, you wanna filter it by video and then you wanna search for stuff like back pain and then you wanna filter it by the orientation being vertical and then you're gonna see some videos coming up of people with back pain. And the great news about this website is you can reuse these videos. So this video here is perfect for me so I can download it. So these are the two websites that I use to download videos. Now, you can also create some Giphy with AI. I'll put a link to the website that I use to do that. And you can use some Giphy's throughout the video as well. But these are the two places that I typically go to to create the B-roll for the video. So now I've got that B-roll content, I can come back to CapCut, go back to media, go to upload and upload those files that I just got. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the clip of somebody showing back pain over my original video. So you need to make sure it's over, not under. And you also need to make sure that it's under the captions as well, because you wanna make sure your captions are showing. So it's gotta be in between the captions and the A roll, which is the main video. So then that way your captions will still show up. Now for this to work effective guys, you've gotta to listen to the video and you wanna place this B roll over where it makes sense. I'm tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, now what I need to do is I need to mute this video here. So I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna to go to where it says audio and I'm gonna mute the video. And I'm also gonna zoom the video in and reposition it. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders? and that awkward Donald Duck butt. So the reason why I've placed this video here is because the guy says, are you fed up and tired of dealing with forward head and rounded shoulders? Then it plays the B-roll of showing somebody doing that. And then it shows them at the end nodding their head, which means you're fed up. So that's the perfect place for me to put that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off just that when he finishes showing him nodding his face because the posture corrector is the wrong one. So now I can go back and cut it there. I can cut it there by splitting the clip and then deleting the video. So now I can go back and watch it. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, and that awkward Donald Duck butt? It's time for a change. Let me introduce you to the Posture Pro, a simple yet effective solution designed to help you. And then he intros the product saying, let me introduce you to the Posture Pro. That's where I'm going to need another video clip of showing the posture corrector. Again, I need to mute this clip and then here we go. It's gonna say, let me introduce you to the Posture Pro and it shows a guy using it and getting the benefit of it. Now, the only issue with this clip is the original video has captions. So my captions are now fighting their captions. Now, there's two ways you can deal with this. You can either delete your captions. Now, if you read the other video's captions and they don't interfere with your video, it doesn't mention the product name that they're styling, it doesn't say anything that goes off their brand, then you can keep the original captions and delete yours. Or if their captions are calling the product a different name, what you can then do is you can go over to where it says elements and you can search for a square. And then you're gonna see loads of different rectangles and squares coming up. And then what you can do is you can grab it and put it over the video. So you can see here now I've moved that square into the frame. So now I'm gonna put it to where the original one was. So you can see now I'm gonna be able to cover that up. Now, if you want this to look really, really nice, then you can get a custom square off Google and then that way you can resize it to fit it. Now, unfortunately, inside of the CapCut editor, you can't resize this, I don't think, unless you know how to, let me know in the comment section below. So what you can do is you can create a custom image size to fit it perfectly in Canva, for example, and then import that square into the CapCut editor. But this is an easy, quick way of doing it. And now if I play the video, the original one in the video has now been covered up. Posture Pro, a simple yet effective solution designed to help you read. But again, you do need to fiddle around with what is the position size for this to work correctly. Now, what I could also do is go on the original clip, zoom it in slightly. Now, I only care about the guy showing off the posture corrector. So if I zoom it in, you can see now that the square is going to need to be lower down. And if I really want to, I can get it to fit that whole screen. So for example, I can get it to fit that whole screen and then I can move the video up here. So I'm just showing you a few different ways you can do this. So remember, the viewer only cares about the posture corrector. So even if the bottom of the video is covered up by this square, then at least I know there is no way that that text can now be shown. So if I go back again and watch the video, Posture Pro, a simple yet effective solution designed to You can see that it covers up all of the original caption and it shows the main part of the video that I care about. 
And then what I can do is I can split the video there. So I'm gonna click split again, and then I can click delete. Now I'm gonna watch that first bit back again. Are you tired of dealing with forward head, rounded shoulders, and that awkward Donald Duck butt? It's time for a change. Let me introduce you to the Posture Pro, a simple yet effective solution designed to help you reclaim your posture and boost your confidence. Now where he says boost confidence, I can go back to Pixel, get a video of somebody smiling, and then that way I can place it here. Again, it's all about placing the right B-roll in the right section of this video. So here again, I can reuse a clip. I'm showing bad posture again. I can reuse a clip of Posture Pro. The gentleman of the AI actor is now talking about the product in action. So this original clip that I downloaded, I can use it where it shows it on the floor. So I can cut this bit now to where it intros it on the floor. So I can click split and then I can delete this and then I can place that video here. With Posture Pro, you can transform your posture, enhance your overall well-being, and even boost your confidence. As you wear Posture Pro, you'll notice improvements not just in how you stand, but in how you sleep, how you feel, and how you carry yourself. So just like that, guys, you can see it's all about making sure that the B-roll that I'm using lines up with what the guy's saying. Now, when you're doing this, you want a nice in-between of the AI actor speaking and then showing B-roll. So you need to figure out a good amount of the AI actor talking to the camera versus you showing the B-roll. Now, obviously, the B-roll needs to be placed in those important moments where the viewer wants to see what the benefit is. So when it talks about the Posture Pro can help you sleep, it can help you, it's easy to wear throughout the day, that's where I've placed this video because it's going to show them them using it throughout the day. Now, something else that I'd recommend that you guys do is if the script is too long and the actor is over talking. Now, I can tell right now that this actor has overspoke, I think roughly for around about five seconds here, then I can cut it out. So just like that throughout the day, that's a perfect place for the actor to stop talking. So because of that, I've got an extra five seconds here. So I'm going to click split again and I'm going to delete that last section. And now you can see the video has gone from 55 to 50 seconds. And now it brings us to the outro. So if you're ready to take control of your posture and say goodbye to discomfort, give Posture Pro a try. You deserve to feel your best every day. Join the movement. Normally, when it comes to the call to action section, you want to leave it where the AI actor is talking to the camera instead of using too much B-roll. You're probably going to use around about one to two pieces of B-roll at the call to action, but they're going to be very quick B-roll, which will be the call to action, a video of your website. But you need to make sure that when you're doing this, guys, you're really paying attention and you're listening to what is being said and making sure that, that B-roll fits what's being said. Now, the hardest part of editing these videos, guys, is actually making sure that the B-roll makes sense. It's going to be you covering up old captions, you increasing the size of the video in the frame, you making sure that, that that is the right clip for that part of the video. This is the most time consuming part of the edit. But if you do all of that correctly, you will get an outcome of what I showed you in the intro of today's video. Now, with that being said, guys, that is how you can create UGC AI videos for completely free for your e-commerce and dropshipping store for Facebook ads and even TikTok ads. If you've enjoyed this video and got a lot of value from it, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.